But an even better thing is coming along soon because RJ is going to fight Another rematch. Again. Once again. If you weren't Let's sick of it, it before. You probably won't get sick of it. They're fun to watch. Guys, this is grand final. Let's have let's get excited. How many viewers do we got right now? Let's see. I don't know. Right. I thought that was a rhetorical question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought, you were, I thought you were actually looking. I, I, I said that and then I realized I can't see how many viewers there are. So, uh, oh well. It's okay. They're not important. What's important it, is this. Exactly. RJ and Salted Bread, that's the most Who important will thing. Will Salted get revenge? Yep. Or will RJ whip his ass again? <laughs> again. Yeah, right now Salted's, uh, you know, even though he beat you, he's not happy, you know? Yeah. What, will, what will bring him satisfaction? It will be beating RJ, you know? He's mad that I got really close to beating him, so now he's angry. Now he has to yeah, beat he's RJ. Like, how, he's like, how dare, how dare George beat me? 51 uh, attack, though. That's not terrible. Let's see what Salty can do. Oh, fairly he can't. efficient. 53. Okay, 53. You know. 52 for 18, so his was a bit better than uh, yeah, yeah. RJ's. That's solid. Nice. Okay, okay. Garbage is pretty messy earlier in the game. No, it's phase two right now. Or we're in phase two, okay. Yeah. Phases actually Maybe. matter because yeah. we're not dying in like five <laughs> yeah. seconds. Like, yeah, right? In the previous matches. Yeah, yeah. We got to phase two pretty quick, though. That's wild. Yeah, in case you guys forgot, there are phases in this game. Yeah. <laughs> the game's not supposed to, match is not supposed to end in like <laughs> yeah. a minute and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, just kidding, oh, it's gonna man. end now. Oh no, Salted, what are you doing, my boy? Alright, Spaghetti Factory is back online. The Spaghetti Factory is back, everybody. We're back in Little Italy. Yeah. Alright. He's uh, skimming hard. He might survive. Yeah, he's struggling hard. He actually nice. has a shot. Nice. He's actually doing pretty well. But yeah. RJ Considering zone, the circumstances. Um, might be a little too strong for him. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's a lot of damage. But Salted zoning right now. Oh, he, he does not send yeah. enough to cancel RJ's attack, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. He got himself out of that situation. But now that he was out of that situation, RJ threw another attack at him and he couldn't attack back. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't. Okay, like before he was like almost about to die. Yeah. But he was still like not in a good spot. It really keeps going back to what I was saying, where like Salted is a very reactionary player, in my opinion. I think it's like worse for him in TC because like he oh, doesn't yeah. know when zone. Yeah, he went quite far in NPS. If you might remember him from he that, he did, and I was so but proud. The reason why that happened was because there was commentary live. He was hearing them. They were telling him he should zone now, and then he's like, "All right, I'm gonna press zone now." And then that's how he knew he should zone. Are you saying that MCS was raked at the at first? No, I mean, he just took advantage of, like, the environment, you know? Fair, fair. That's the that's the PC way to say it, I suppose. I mean, what do you, like, what do you, what do you want to do? Like, the, I the commentators were also, like, telling, like, they were all saying, like, when his opponent should zone too, right? But I guess so. Yeah, I guess that makes it even. It was that's even. fair. Yeah. It's all fair in love and war. All fair in love and Tetris. They, uh, had the equal opportunity, so it was fine. Yeah. All right, both players on their first first zone. Let's oh see goodness. what they get. So 50 and 39. Yeah. Yeah. yeah get out of here, salted bread. Get Damn. out of here. He gets quite cheesed up. He's not They're dead. In phase two right now, but yeah, he's not dead. But still, uh, still uphill. This is when RJ like turns it on. Yeah. You know it, baby. Yeah, but RJ's uh, board is a bit messy, so he can do some missed drops. He's gonna have to clean that up first. Now salt is out, and he's gonna put on the attack. Okay. All right. Yeah, Salted uh, goes down once again. You could, you could be a bit riskier in TEC since there is a... Uh, like, you don't get sent garbage, like, after you send an attack like in PPT, but it's still... You know, like, as we said before, getting it going to the top is, like, ill-advised because it's very risky. Yeah. It's, it's a lot less lenient than the other games. Well, you also got to... I feel like you can, but you really got to be paying attention to your opponent. You have yeah. to know if they have the opportunity. Yeah. Like, you can't just hand yeah, them the opportunity. Not, like, not like a very Salted strong... Did. Yeah, not a very strong zone from Salted. Yeah. It's going to get him overwhelmed by RJ's... Yeah, look at those ...superior stats. zone. Yeah, zone attack... It's not like Salted is terrible at zone. It's just RJ is better. Yeah, it's just like... 
<laughs> Archie is also like the only person who really plays TEC, other, yeah. than, other than you. Yeah, yeah. So, he's definitely going to be a lot more used to like, the flow of the game and like what to do at each moment. Salted is stacking pretty clean right now. RJ as well, he's going for the TST oh, nice. while not in the he zone interest. He looks to block, because yeah. his stack was a bit messy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he takes the opportunity to down stack nicely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he's, he's down. Very good. Yeah, but as you know, both of the players are at max meter right now. Who's yeah, gonna RJ's going to probably figure out like how he wants to build up the stack to start the zone. Yeah. Salted's just putting pressure on right now. I think he's just going to react to when uh, RJ zones, since no one's telling him what to zone. <laughs> Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, he's probably gonna like start stacking up now and like now he's gonna press zone. Yeah, he presses zone and then he's gonna start his attack. Um he's not sending very many like high damage moves, so he's probably gonna end up losing to RJ zone. Hmm, okay. Forty five. Okay. He sent he sent enough attack beforehand that it was able to offset most of RJ's attacks, so they're gonna be they're gonna be pretty even right now. Oh, having to waste the TP. Oh so yeah, sad. he wasted the TPs and like does not have a Tetris ready. Breaking back to back, so sad. So he's gonna be in a bit of a sketchy situation, oh, having yeah. to use zone early. Was that Tetris. a quarter zone? That was like really short. Yeah, that's quarter zone. Okay, yeah, looks like he's screwed. Oh yeah, he's done. He's done ins. He needs like another eyepiece right now. Okay, RJ has like full zone meter, so he can take his time. Okay, to, wow. like choose the moment he wants to take Salted out. Yeah, I'm surprised he's waiting this long to take out Salted. I'm impressed. Salted using the quarter zone again. Is, is Salted the next quarter zone god? Who knows? 13 attack, not terrible for a quarter zone. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All things yeah, his did or did. speed coming out to uh, get him out of that situation. Oh, nice. wow. Okay, okay. Our RJ begins his zone, but it's looking a little sketchy right now. He needs another eyepiece. He's covering as well. Yeah, he's kind of... Ooh, ooh 13. 32. Salted, you can take this back, I feel. Yeah, Salted has a half you zone, right? You just have right? to do something. Yeah. He's playing Tetris. Also gets 26. Not, not, not too bad, but he's alive. Like RJ's like zone advantage but could not uh, take advantage of his uh, zone advantage. Yeah. <laughs> he's alive, but I feel like he could have taken advantage of that way more. Ooh, but Salt is really cheesed up. They're yeah. in phase three right now. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, what happened? Okay, yeah, he got stuck. His dunions. All right, this is the grand finals. Wow. And it's over. Man. They listened. It was three. GG. What a way to end it off. All right. All right. I hope you enjoyed our very climactic uh, Tetris. Yeah, that was kind of connected uh, bracket. Yeah, we thought it would end <laughs> off with a bang. No, it ended off with a whisper. I don't know. This was pretty exciting, but not in the right ways. <laughs> yeah, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So much fun, though. This is a yeah, nice it was fun. One. It's nice. it was good seeing everyone again. Yeah. Then having everything go on. Guys, let us know what you thought about this tournament. Yeah, why don't we get another interview from RJ? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> another interview from RJ about this entire tournament. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I imagine we'll just have Salted and RJ uh, sign off the stream. So yeah, we'll go from there. I'm All down right. for it, bro. Yeah. Yeah, this was a nice short tournament. You know, this was fun. Yeah, you're you're welcome for like the speed run uh, TEC <laughs> yeah, the tournament. Speed right? run TEC tournament. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was great. Yeah. Guys, I love you all, but we, I, uh, Dre and I will be heading off. We're going to sign it off to our friends over here. Uh, yeah. Salted is Once saying, again, George, you interview RJ. Oh, just I kidding. interview RJ. And then, no, and second then place, Salted. interview first place. Once again. And then Salted will come on. Uh, all right. After. All right. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Let's all right. get, get out here, a little Dre. bit more of me then, chat. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm gone. See you get guys. out of here. Thanks, Dre. Thank you, Dre. And Andy, yes, three. Ah, oh, man. This was fun. This was fun. I had a good time. Hello, my friend. RJ, tell me. What did you think of today's tournament? You had fun? Yeah, I was like, uh, I was like, you know, after I kind of knocked off a little bit of the rust from the beginning, I started to get better and better zones. So I'm just like, yeah, uh, you, uh, I'm I sorry to... I had an adjustment period, right? Yeah. Yeah, there, there's always that, like, even I felt that at first. I was just mm -hmm. like... Oh, this game moves completely differently. Like I gotta like get yes. used to that now. But I mostly play tech anyways, so like mm -hmm. it wasn't too bad for me. What about you? Do you are you still playing tech more? Or I, I like haven't played PT it much more. 
Uh, I've been playing PPT more, but okay. I, I, I think I, I think I still remember some of the things that y you should be doing in tech to kind of be successful, like being good at yeah. zone, getting zone meter quickly, those sorts of things. Yeah, I kind of came back to you pretty quick. I feel w mm -hmm. watching the vod, you know, watching the match, commentating. I was like, hey, he's got it. He's got yeah. it. And you won, <laughs> of course. Like, you, <laughs> yeah, no I'm winning. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, do you see yourself playing it more often or not? Uh, I think especially towards next Xeno, that might be the big driver that's mm -hmm. like, oh, maybe I'll fire it up. A uh, foreshadowing there. Yeah. Oh, all yeah. right. That sounds cool, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, um, how does it feel like playing against, like, Salted in this game compared to PPT? Yeah, I think... Do you feel like he plays differently, the same? Uh, I think in some sense he'll try to keep certain things the same just to keep it consistent, but it's important to know where you need to adjust. It's like, yeah. uh, where, uh, where can you... Uh, where can you kind of put in the specialties of TEC, like being good at zone, being good at IHS, IRS, yeah. kind of unlocking some of the extra oh, uh, yeah. things. Just that those little things that make that go a long way when they're added up in mm -hmm. the game. Yeah, IHS, yeah. Or IRS, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny. I noticed that um, I would have assumed that Salted Bread would have played like he does in PPT, often going for like intricate attacks and that kind of stuff but I noticed you opted for more T-spins than he did in the beginning of the game I thought you I you know I would have thought that like you would have played more like the traditional like tech player where like you go for only Tetrises build up your meter and mm -hmm. once you're in the zone then you do all the that crazy stuff you would do in PPT or Tetrio or whatever. yeah the, that's ideal. But I know it was like kind of reversed from what I thought it was going to be well the, the, that was interesting yeah the, the, that's a key way to start off in TC is to go for Tetrises but I, I was kind of coming off of the uh, uh, coming off of the like long PBT run, so mm. it's like uh, l let me stick with some of the things that works. But I even then, at some point, I would start to cash in the Tetrises. So yeah, a, a bit of a late start. But once I got into it, then I was building zone meter like I should. Yeah. So you so you're saying you wanted to get into the rhythm more? You didn't want to like stray too far from your usual play style mm -hmm. before you like got used to the game. Right, because there, there, there are some, there, there are some like patterns that you can use at the beginning that make it easier for you to like say, just sprint and go six yeah. three and so on. There, there's some easy ways to get into that. But I opted to go opener for a little bit, and then, and then I can be like, oh, here's my gap. Now I'll start hitting some yeah. Tetrises, or if Salt is hitting me. Then some garbage is going to come up, and I can hit those for Tetris. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's that's a smart way to go. I feel, and I, I think you ended up winning. So yeah, that that was a good strategy to go with. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. when you're switching from one game to the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and I think uh, ultimately though, you want to make the most out of your speed because the speed is it, it, speed is really a big differentiator here. You you want to make sure that you're going fast, but you are also basically hitting uh, hitting the right notes when you're uh, going for. T spins, Tetrises, yeah. Like, like yeah, get, get them efficiently, get them quick, and then that, that's a yeah, man. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow, congrats to you. All right. Hope you had fun. The same to you. I guess we top will. three. Yeah, top, top three, three, baby. Let's top go. Top three. <laughs> that, that, All right. That, that's a good. That's a good way to. Yeah, get you fired up for the next one. You get your training arc going. I am so going to practice more. I yeah. say that at the end of every tournament. I'm so <laughs> going to practice more. Guys, <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> all right. And until the next time, I'll all see right. ya. I'm going to switch it off to Salted Bread Salted and Bread. Dre. All right. Thanks, George. Thank you. All right. Let, <clears> let, me, let me talk with you. Okay. Oh, careful, careful. What's up, RJ? Yo, Salted. Yeah. No, this is that's why I told him to interview you because he actually saw the matches and the changes in playstyle. See, I wouldn't have asked that mm -hmm. if it was me interviewing you. I'm like, when do you press the win button? Because you pressed it and you won, and I pressed it and I lost. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, no, that was that was good. I was like, you won, you sweeped it again. Well, it's like your second time or third time. Well, ac well, actually, the last time I won TC, it wasn't day. Salted, stop touch touching oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> Just, the last time I won TC, I didn't win PPT. So the, the today was. Oh, this first. was your first sweep. Nice, it's congrats. Yeah, awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm glad. But yeah, anyways, mm -hmm. overall, you know, obviously today we have a uh, nice and.
Cozy tournament bracket. Mm -hmm. And they said, they, they were like, yo, if you run TEC, it's gonna take forever, bro. We just <laughs> proved it. We ran, we ran the whole freaking bracket under one hour, all right? Yeah. Started like at seven, like what, seven, like, I don't know, like 750 something. Now it's 851. Look at that. And, you know, anyways, yeah, if you want fast <laughs> TEC brackets, <laughs> come here to Zeno yeah. and future Zenos, which will happen very soon. But I'm just glad, you know, the last time. We did this, I can't even tell, it was like April or... Mm -hmm. It's not May for sure, because May, May was busy. April was the last it, time I did this, right? It definitely has been a hot minute, for yes, sure. It's yeah. a very long time, so, you know, mainly I'm just glad to be back. Obviously, lots of work needs to be done on my end in getting word out to the people. But, you know, my folks here, they're staring me down. They're like, yeah, I'm, I'm a chill. That's the, that's the feeling you got from them. But yeah, and I do apologize for... Everyone who was expecting this and kind of didn't know it was happening, mm -hmm. I'll do better in my end. And yeah, so from now on, we'll work as a team and yeah. you know, get work to you guys. Hopefully, you guys can come. The next one is most definitely gonna be in January. Mm. Where it's not gonna, I don't like want it to be too close to either the 13th, which is the week after that tournament, yeah, or, or the 20th, yeah, are the mm. open dates for us. Okay, so yeah, the 20th, so, yeah, most likely let's do the 20th because yeah. you know, like for people, I think, right, yeah, I feel like that would be better overall. Okay. Mm -hmm. but it'll be like day, the day of change, so yeah, that's good, yeah, yeah, because exactly, there's it's a weekend holiday, and mm, excuse me, not the coke's getting, <laughs> oh. and it's not too close to snow, and it's infinite. You know, because like people might be burnt out with all the Tetris thing. You guys get two weeks to chill if you're, you know, a local in the area. And you, and you can drop by and, you know, chill with us in almost the peak of winter. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's not that cold here. It, it's warm <laughs> now. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm wearing this. It should be thicker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm a thick boy. Yeah, you're a thick, thick, thick boy. boy. Yeah, like look, fifty percent like <laughs> resistance to fucking ice, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you know, I'm just glad. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the raiders, especially mm -hmm. Jaded and Firestorm. You guys are great. You guys are awesome. I'm just very glad. You know, like even though it's been a while since we did this event, that you guys are still supporting us. I'm like really, I'm just glad to all the people that came. I'm very glad. And you know, again, hopefully. In the future, we'll do more of these, bigger, better, stronger than ever. And yep, that's our goal for 2024. And yep. thank you guys for coming. And RJ, any final mm -hmm. words for you? Um, I'm going to say this is such a fun way to end the year. It's like, uh, how, how can I do this without Zeno? So it's like, it's good it's good to be back here with the boys Hell doing yeah. it again. Hell yeah. And it, it, uh, let's get January going and we're going to have an even better time next time. Yeah, definitely. So, right onwards for 2024 have a blast and i just want to wish you guys happy holidays happy new year and yep yeah, let's meet again next year see you guys all right mm -hmm. see you guys peace, peace.